So when a surgeon creates an AV fistula, sometimes the vein plumps right up and the fistula can be used in about a month. But in a lot of patients, the vein never really dilates like it's supposed to. It never really matures is the word we use. And so if, if the fistula doesn't look like it's maturing right away in about three or four weeks, we'll usually do what we call fistula maturing procedures. And in that situation, we put a little needle into the fistula with ultrasound guidance and we take some pictures, some angiographic pictures, and find out where the fistula is narrowed. And then what we can do is open up the vein a little bit with an angioplasty balloon. So say for instance, we really are hoping on having a fistula that's maybe six, seven, or eight millimeters, but the fistula is only three or four millimeters. What we might do is put a balloon, an angioplasty balloon in the fistula, and increase the size of the fistula by maybe a millimeter. So maybe we'll put like a five millimeter balloon in. Then we let the patient go and let that heal for a month or so, and it usually gets slightly bigger, and then we might see them back and do the same procedure with a balloon slightly larger. And typically after one or two procedures, we can have a fistula that was not maturing properly. It can mature into a very nice fistula. There's also some other procedures we sometimes do, and fistulas sometimes have branches, and those branches can divert the blood away from the fistula. And so what we'll do is we'll put a little catheter into those side branches and we'll leave a coil and a little plug that plugs off the branches. And what that does is it forces the blood to go into the primary vein and then the primary vein can plump up. So in most cases we can take a fistula that was never going to mature and successfully create a fistula that's going to mature that can be used for dialysis rather than having to, to give up on that fistula and go to another arm.